Hello, I'm that Platypus, and this should hopefully be a pretty comprehensive guide for everything to do the second you start this game. First things first, shop, because you're going to have this pop up in your face. This is one of two packs that come very early game, starter pack and the advanced pack. I would only... You only, if you're only going to be buying one of the two, this one's $10 and the other one's $15, I'd be buying the $15 one, the advanced pack, because it gives you two diamond final forms, one gold combo card and then the diamond upgrade. The reason why you want two ofs is because to fuse cards, you need two of a card and then diamond final forms are only useful when they're fused. Okay, next. These, the limited time packs, use the tier list you don't want to be buying any limited time packs that aren't a or above this early on and you only want to be buying them once you have 250 gems other than that i i wouldn't really think about it yet unless you're going to be wailing like crazy but that's a different topic okay chinchilla bundle never get these bundles these bundles are pretty bad well by pretty bad i mean never worthwhile next portal key also, never buy portal keys. You get portal keys for free. Basic packs and basic boxes are what you want to always be spending your gold on. The upgrade packs, I know they look shiny. They are not good. The second you get one silver final form from your basic box, you already have more dust than what you get from the upgrade packs. Also, See the Little Town pack to the Super Rare pack, so Upgrade pack, Uncommon pack, and Rare pack. Don't, don't buy any of these. I see you buying any of these. I delete your cards, okay? Got it? Understood? Okay, good. I'll explain quickly why. Two guaranteed rares does not mean two guaranteed gold combo cards. You cannot get gold combo cards from this. You can only get gold final forms, and gold final forms become pretty useless, except for a few specific ones that you can get from the limited time packs. Okay, now to talk about what I keep saying. This is an Onyx combo card. Strongest card in the game. You want to try and get as many of these as possible. They're, they have different scales of usefulness between themselves but if you only have one any onyx combo card is good gold combo cards are the second strongest combo cards in the game you want to be getting as many of these as possible early game to try and use to then be able to use on diamond final forms which are your finishers none of these diamond final forms here are good so yeah also the Gold final forms from packs can sometimes be kept. There's like some exceptions where they actually are useful, but that's usually only counterattack cards and some very specific critical strike cards. Okay, next. Research. These, I, I wouldn't unlock them unless you're spending a lot of money on this game because you will get a lot of backed up research if you are spending money on this game. Otherwise, you're going to be done researching in like five months, just ever. Also, you always have something researching early on. Doesn't matter what it is, so long as it's a gold combo. You can have a few silver combos. They aren't that useful. Also, this gold combo, don't follow my example. This one's pretty bad. Instead, going right along to the upgrade cards, magic starts off upgraded to level two, but that's one of the ones you want to start upgrading with. As well, you want to upgrade an ash to level two, a metal to level two, and a human to level two. And if you get lucky with your bronze combo card pulls, you also want to upgrade a rainbow to level two. The reason why is because these five cards researched with each other make some of the strongest early game gold combos. All right, deck building. When you first get the game, you'll have the ability to choose between these three different abilities. The, the old guide is still correct on this, but it doesn't really matter that much. Healer is technically the best, but if you pick Elementalist or Healer, you're good. Enchanter starts off with Chinchilla, which isn't that good. If you pick it, it's fine. It's whatever, but it's not that good. Pick Elementalist or Healer. You'll get the Sword combo card and you'll thank me later. Also, once you 
after you've picked, basically immediately switch to either Enchanter or Healer. You can use Elementalist, but it's like the worst out of all free early game. I just use it for speed often as well. Deck building. Turn off autofill as soon as possible. Autofill is not your friend, it is your enemy. Also, is the optimizer is also your enemy. These two things can just, they can break your game. They just, I, I, I know why, I can't tell you why, but they just straight up can break your game. So don't, don't use them. Also, these gold final forms, they're useful right as you start the game. Other than that, they become free dust as soon as you have even like five gold combos researched. That still takes like five days to do, but anyways, just after that, you can get rid of them. They're just free dust at that point. Definitely keep them in your deck this early on, however. Also, do not run bronze final forms this early and... Try and diversify the cards in your deck. You don't want to be running three ofs. Early game, it's okay to run three ofs because you aren't going to have that many combos. Like here, I want magic, metal, human, ash, and rainbow as three ofs because I'm researching all the, or I'm supposed to be researching all the combos for that. But I have horse and radiation as well because the type I picked gave me um, pestilence horse, which is a gold combo card or gold combo which you get from combining horse and radiation with each other so it's the strongest combo i have access to as well as wolf and radiation isn't bad same with fire and wolf and etc etc and then fire and magic's also pretty good like this is pretty good solid starting deck so i would get rid of elf if i could but you, you get the idea also undead and magic is one of you get a combo for that for free as soon as you click on the research slot. Next, upgrading cards. We already went over that. Never mind. Port map. Unlock the portal as soon as possible. Before, it was better to wait until you hit level 50 to ensure that once you did the portal, you could get all of this. But now the portal keeps coming back. It's infinite. You'll get it eventually. You don't need it right away. And also you get a bunch of goodies from just doing portal immediately. Don't, don't spend your portal key. This first thing, wait. Wait until you have like 10 and know what you want to spend on event-wise. Don't just gamble it away. It's not worth it. Also... The second you can't beat Portal anymore, well, we're getting to that. You want to try and unlock as much of the map as possible, but the second you can't beat Portal anymore, you stop stop doing Portal. It's not worth the energy investment. Even if you're like really close to Bear, you're going to get Bear eventually. Go back to the factory and grind Dr. Robo. Dr. Robo is the most efficient dust per energy boss there is. Whenever you can't fight the rest of the map, fight Dr. Robo. Also, what you want to do is you want to try and unlock to the docks. After the docks, don't even bother trying to unlock it until you've hit like level 30 or something like that because the difficulty spike is unreal. You'll be able to beat the docks. You will not be able to beat the Enchanted Caverns, which is the first area on the second map. The reason why you want to beat up until the docks is because the goblins. Goblins spawn once a day, give you dust, a card, and gold. They're very useful. Very, very useful early game. Also, you probably won't be able to beat them that early on, so don't worry about it. You'll also have your Onyx Goblin spawning pretty immediately. Don't worry about beating that either. You won't be able to, and it'll come back in around a month. Okay, now Heroics. See this? This is Heroics. Don't battle it like once a day. Don't have to get far. You just want to try and hit top 1,500 with... With, with which, how little players there are playing right now, it's pretty easy. Don't spend your skulls on anything other than the Onyx combo. These, these are the most powerful cards in the game, and this is the only reliable way of getting them other than buying out packs. Okay, next. We're done with the map, Arena. For Arena, don't, don't worry about my rank, it's... Little bugged, uh, don't worry about it. 
For Arena, you want to stockpile your Dark Orbs. Don't buy the upgrade boosts unless you're about to break into Masters 1. And it's a tiebreaker week. Tiebreaker is the strongest ability to get early on. Second to that is Greed, and then after that, it's whatever. You want to stockpile your orbs to be able to get these abilities the second you get Tiebreaker. If you're struggling to hit Masters, spend a little on HP to get to like 35 HP or whatever. It'll help dramatically. And if you're really desperate to break into Masters, you... you you kind of can buy one. Like, it's not the end of the world, but, like, you'll have to make that judgment call. Anyways, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful, and hopefully I didn't miss anything, or else we're going to have, like, a million questions in the Discord. It's like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? It's, it's fine. Ask them, I'll answer, and other people will answer, and yeah. Okay. Bye!